We'll go to Airport in Hickory, North Carolina for round 13 of the Mid-East Racing and Bike Series. The track this morning is cool and damp through the seven mile run through the woods. The riders would have to contend with tight single track, rough terrain, and a slippery hill climb. First up, we'll be keeping an eye out on the top riders. Up on the front row, we have Patrick Tobin with four straight podium finishes and a lock in the A Masters this season. Second is David James, who's a lock in the A Super Senior class, running a new two-stroke today. We'll also be keeping an eye on Gavin Guthrie and Jonathan Davis, who are great contenders for the podium. Next, we're going to be watching the last couple of rows, looking to lock in a championship. First up is Vet C with the battle breaking out between Paulo Pereira and Bradley Knuckles. Paulo just needs to finish in fifth or better to be able to lock in his championship for the season. Next to the battle for C Senior between Aaron Ringer, Eddie Duff, and Kenneth Osborne. There is a chance the championship could be locked in today. And finally, we're watching C Masters in the battle between Michael Newton and William Cash. Is he giving you the post-race tip today? The problem is he's only got broke ribs on the left side, so I'm going to hook him up right quick. Break the other one right there. <laughs> This is my, my secret weapon. That's how you gonna beat that kid right back there, That's what I'm good. That's what I'm shooting for. I gotta change something. Hey, Gary, good luck today. Thank you. you inspired David to change manufacturers, man. Yeah, uh, he, he had to try to win, so he's got on something blue. He might win. I don't know. Hey, yeah, man. Good luck today. Thank you. Me too. All eyes on Ricky Towers. The call goes out for 10 seconds. As the green flag goes up, a two-way battle emerges into the first corner between David James and Jeff Veely. Jeff speeds up around the outside of the corner, taking the whole shot just by a couple of inches. Patrick Tobin was a few bike lengths back, starting in fifth place. Gavin Guthrie would get rolling in the C four-stroke lights class, starting in third place as they head into the woods. Jonathan Davis starts out with a slower run on the outside of C Jr., but slips in a small gap, sneaking the whole shot on the inside. The first lap saw a reshuffle with newcomer Jason Gillian taking a strong lead early ahead of David James by more than a minute and 15 seconds on the first lap. Patrick Tobin would be all the way up into third place just 30 seconds behind David which is quite impressive considering he had a spill at the hill climb on the first lap. With Gavin Guthrie in fourth on adjusted time. Jonathan Davis would be up into ninth place on the first lap. When C. Vett takes off with a three-way tie brewing between Bradley Knuckles, Paula Pereira, and Brandon Prewitt. Brandon keeps his lead in the middle, taking the whole shot. The first lap, however, we would see Bradley Knuckles move up into the lead with Justin Harris five seconds behind, looking to battle it out with him. They'd quickly have a third contender coming up, though, with Paulo Pereira just five seconds back. C. Senior would get rolling with Thad Farr taking an early lead into the corner and grabbing the whole shot. Kenneth Osborne would start right behind him in second place. Aaron Ringer is next in a side-by-side -side with Sergio Salza for third. Eddie Duff would start out in seventh place. The first lap would completely change the order, though. Aaron Ringer, followed by Kenneth Osborne and Eddie Duff, would be taking the top three within 15 seconds of one another. Finally, C. Masters would start with an early lead by Tommy Stanley, taking the first corner and the whole shot. 
William Cash would start in fourth place, and Michael Newton would be in ninth. They would be in completely different positions by the end of the first lap, with William Cash taking the lead by 40 seconds over Michael Newton. I don't feel jealousy, I don't feel envy, this is normally more unhealthy for me. So far I'm patient, so while you date him, keep in mind that it's your time to take it away. I don't find that every day Laughter and joy you're radiating Turn the cynical away If you can see the world the way I do I think that you would find that I'm exactly what you need We talk for hours, the sweet and sour Through the middle laps of the seven lap race, Jason Gillian continued to hold a commanding lead, putting more than five minutes between himself and David James at the white flag. Patrick Tobin kept up his pace, keeping the gap within 30 seconds. At the white flag, however, Patrick would get around David James, taking second place in the overall. Kevin Guthrie would have snuck into third place on adjusted time by over 10 seconds on David James. Jonathan Davis had moved up into fifth place as well. Vett saw a lead change between Bradley Knuckles. He would fall almost a minute and a half behind Justin Harris. Paula Pereira would continue to hold on to third. Back with C Senior, Aaron Ringer dropped to second place behind Sergio Salza with a minute and a half to all of the riders in the class. Eddie Duff continued to hold on to third, and Kenneth Osborne dropped to fourth. William Cash continued to lead C Mash with a nearly a two minute gap behind him. Michael Newton ran into some issues and had to retire after the first lap, unfortunately. Ripping through the final couple of corners and taking the win is Jason Gillian. Patrick Tobin would continue to push hard, taking second place just 10 seconds ahead of Gavin Guthrie on adjusted time. Gavin would end up being in third place, rounding out your podium. David James would run about a minute slower on the last lap, dropping him into fifth place behind Jonathan Davis, who would sneak up into fourth. Bradley Knuckles and Paulo Pereira would finish second and third in Vet C, just over a minute and a half apart. Paulo's close position to Bradley would give him enough points to lock in his championship win for the season. Next across the line came C Senior with Aaron Ringer finishing second, just under 40 seconds ahead of Eddie Duff. Kenneth Osborne would finish in fourth two minutes later. Kenneth's fourth place finish unfortunately drops him out of the running for the championship. Finally with C Masters, William Cash continued to hold on to his lead all the way to the checkered. The points difference in the win gave him both the points lead and the season championship as a lock. Hey, the race today, man. It's good. Fun to be back at the race again? Yeah, yeah. Well, you checked out on him. Nobody even know who was the finish yet. <laughs> you took a pit stop, you could have stopped without a pizza. Yeah. Well, hey, the race today, man. Right. Next up is the final round at Harris Bridge in Union, South Carolina. Will Aaron Ringer, Eddie Duff take home the win and see Senior? Who should we cover next time? Let us know down in the comment section below. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.